Hey guys, it's Show. I just want to give you a quick little tip about checking your bike, you know, before rides and stuff. I got my buddy here, Ted, and he brought his bike over so we can put some sliders and do some stuff to it. And um, as he pulled it in and we started looking at it, we found something. And I want you guys to check this out. Because even though when you have a fall or off or whatever, if you think everything's good to go, it ain't always. So make sure you check it real good. But check out his handlebars. I, I don't think you can see the movement. But his handlebar is moving internally right there at the, uh, can't, I don't know if it'll focus right, but right there, it's moving. So it's getting ready to snap. It's cracked internally. I'll show you what it looks like um, and how it's made in a second here. Hang on. All right, guys, I'm back with my cell phone here real quick. So this is probably not going to come out real good, but this is what it's, Let's see if it focuses right there for me. It probably won't. It's just a stupid cell phone. But anyways. That's what it looks like when it's whole, and this is what it looks like when it comes apart. Man, I wish I had a good camera for you guys, but anyways, hopefully this will come out. I mean, this shit's crap, but give you an idea. It's, it's actually two pieces on your stock handlebar, and that little indentation right there is a little like a rivet type of thing. They just kind of compress it. So it goes in there, and then they kind of punch that in, and it holds it together, and there should be no play. And that's what uh, Ted's bike has on his R6. It's got some play. So that means something's going on. Either that little part that's punched, getting loose, or it's cracked internally. So either way, be careful. And then we got one other thing to show you real quick. Yeah, yeah. All right, guys. Uh, the second half of this real quick. We just inspected his bike, and we're going to lube his chain real quick. But check this out. I want you to watch this. See the play that he has on his chain right now? This is what happened to Lady L's bike, too. Keep an eye on the slack. See, it's starting to tighten up a little bit. See, now it's tight as hell. And now I'm having trouble turning the wheel. Ted's being cameraman here, but you can see it's real tight. So his chain is stretched, worn out, sprockets are worn out, and, and it needs to be addressed as soon as possible. See right here where you can see the chain going on the chain wheel. I don't know if it'll come out on the video because we're just using a cell phone, but there's a gap right there. And see how the chain is kind of falling and, and going in there? That's another thing you look for. I can tap it and make it go in, but when you're riding, you shouldn't have that gap right there. That means the sprocket's worn out. See, going back in reverse, you can see a gap starting to form. So just be careful with that, guys, and check your chains once in a while. And if you have slack and then no slack on your chain as you turn it, it's worn out, and you just need to change it all out. Um, and that'd be a good opportunity to do a 520 conversion if you, if you want. But anyways, just the tip of the day. You guys be safe. All right, guys, we're looking at Ted's bike here real quick. We changed the uh, handlebar here with a stock spare one I had. Did the MotoGP shifting on it. So he's going to go give that a shot right now. We're going to road test it, lube this chain, but that'll be replaced here in the near future. Added these frame sliders just in case. Always a good idea to have them. And then we checked his tire air pressures both front and both back. So that's where we're at right now, I think. So we're getting ready to rock and roll. Thanks for watching, guys.